Like, it, it feels dry in the beginning and then it gets super sticky. I like this. You like this? It's fresh. Like, yeah. It's fresh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crunchy. Oh. Very hard. Oh. Yeah. You have to bite into it. Yeah, it's very, very crunchy, very hard, very dope. Mm -hmm. But it's also sour. The sour thing I'm not too fond of. That reminds me of malt. Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're having a really fun one because Elaine is going to try out, I mean, from our previous video that you saw, she hasn't eaten some of the Ghanaian snacks or she doesn't even know about them. So today she's going to try them out. I'm going to be cultured today. Yeah, I have to stare at this thing a little bit because it tends to, um, you know, Yes. Welcome to our channel, Me Plus You, it's us. My name is Kwame and... Uh, my name? And today is Snack Attack. Snack Attack, <laughs> Ghana edition. Ghana edition, so she's going to try some Ghanaian snack that she's never had before. And pardon me, I can't tell you exactly the consistency as in what's the ingredients, that's what I'm trying to say. So I'll find it out and whatever she tries, I'll put it on the screen for you to see what's inside it and mm -hmm. how it probably tastes. So. I would try my best to tell her some of the key ingredients in some of them. So she would try this, she would try that, try this, she try that. It's not necessarily arranged in a way that it all goes together, no. And so, maybe to start with, where did you get these snacks? So you can't really get them in the neighborhood or, or it depends on where you live, but you would normally get them at a place like Makola, you know, like a the popcorn market. market. Yeah, you have to go to the market and get some of these things. Mm. So, so it's an acquired taste. It's not an acquired taste. It's, I mean, it's some of the things that your parents or your mother will go, not your parents, your mother especially will go to the market and will bring snacks to the house. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, so when she coming from the market, there, there are a lot of other snacks that we might do part two of okay. without we didn't get. This is a good start. But this is a good start. Okay. So Ready? snacks and drinks and uh, yeah, you try it and she's going to rate. Oh, I'm going to rate, okay. Yeah, so, so one to 10. Yes, okay. taste and rate, like, you know, okay. what you think about them. So which one are you going to start with? Is there any specific order you want me to try? No, you can go from here. There, this, this, this. When you take it, I'll tell you the name and then you start. <laughs> a bit scared for this one, so let's try this one first. You're a bit scared for this particular one. Let me show it in there. Look at this. Why are you scared this, for it? It looks like... An icky kind of texture. It's not an icky Maybe texture. Maybe smell it. Okay. It smells like nutty. Yes, it is very nutty. Okay. So this is a mixture. This is called dakwa. 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 It's a mixture of groundnut, pepper, and other spices. And of course, I think corn flour that's mm -hmm. made into this. So if the consistency of, no, if the ingredients is wrong, I'll put it on the screen when I find out. Is exactly. it baked or it's like just mashed? I think it's then. mashed together. I don't know whether they cook it completely, but I think the groundnut is... Uh... Let me try. Yes, try. So how do I eat it? Like oh, you can just bite, bite into it. Just take a little bite. Oh, it's very dry. It's very dry? I thought it would be more, ooh, it's spicy. It's very spicy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that quite spicy. Mm. And sticky. Yeah. And everything is like up here. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So we will eat this whole thing? Yeah, but you, eat it, you don't eat it all at once, you eat it slowly. I said, it's a snack that you eat for a while, not like immediately you take like the whole thing and just try it one in more your time. mouth. Yeah. Just try one more time and just tell me what your rating is. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The texture. The texture bothers you? <laughs> it's like, it, it feels dry in the beginning and then it gets super sticky. <laughs> like, I'm scared to talk. Mm. So you think it's gonna be on your teeth? Mm, yeah. It's gonna be everywhere. In my mouth. Hmm. Okay. I think the second bite was better because I knew what to expect, but I would give it a four. <laughs> a four over 10. Okay. It's not my style of... Uh, I can imagine if you have it with a drink, like a bagel or something, that will be- Like cool. a what? Like a cold beverage. And then this next to it, or no? I have never seen anybody eat so that while with... it's on the go. Yeah, it's on the go. I've never oh, seen Oh no, then anybody. it's definitely a four. Okay, I've never seen anybody combine that while with a drink. Wow. 
Yeah. Wow, you should just munch on this, this whole bowl. Yeah. And do you buy only one if you buy, or you buy like three and the whole, your whole day is set? Oh, no, it's just the one thing snack. Like, okay. Well, as far as I know, I wouldn't buy the whole set. Uh, it's not bad, but, well, let's move on. Okay, moving on, you can try one drink. Uh, which one would you recommend after the quad? Um, okay. I would say this because it's also spicy. Oh, we're going the spicy route. Yeah, it's also spicy so that you, you just know, just oh. stir it up a little bit because it tends to settle. Smells settle. like ginger. Yes, this is predominantly ginger and some other spices. I think pepper is also in there. I don't know if they add a little bit of milk, but it's also spicy. It's not too spicy. Okay, then that's good. I like this. You like this? It's fresh. Like, yeah. It's fresh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's closest to this um, beverage, uh, alcoholic beverage, Bokeke. Hmm. It's closest to the taste of Bokeke. It's a bit milky. It's cold. Yes, it's a bit milky. I think ginger, there's other spices and maybe pepper. I don't know if what they put exactly inside, but I'll put it on the screen, like I said. I'm gonna finish this. <laughs> okay. So at least one you like. This is nine. Nine. Lamujin. This is Lamujin. So you see the name also. Okay, let me not finish it because I have a lot of snacks to go. I need to focus. Yeah. So I would say nine. It's nice. It's, it's light. I thought it would be, um, you said spicy, it was like, ooh, very spicy, but it's, it's subtle, it's subtle. It's subtle. Yes. Yeah. And when would you, what time of the day would you eat, drink this? Or any? Oh, any time of the day you want. Any time of the day. If you're walking in the markets and like, you know, you're, you're parched and a, a spicy drink is your thing. Especially in this, this service is usually cold, so. Oh, that's nice, yeah. yeah the service is usually cold, so. Yeah, it's, it's almost lemony. Like. Really? Like because of the ginger, like it's kind of a dead lane, like okay. a lemon drink, like you want to be freshened up, I like want to be awake. But okay, you are, you are, you are, you are saying it's almost like a lemonade, but there's no lemony. I don't think there's lemon elements in there. No, there's no lemon elements, but because of the ginger, it has like a lemon, it's a refreshing yeah. experience. Okay. Let's put it that way. That's okay. what I mean with like lemony. Okay, okay uh, I'll go for this one. Okay. What do we have here? So this is polo. Polo. Yeah, polo. It smells doughy. Yes, it's very doughy. It's fried. Yes. I, I believe. It's, yes, it's fried. And it's uh, sweet as well. Yeah, you can go in. It's crunchy. Oh. Very hard. Oh. Yeah. You have to bite into it. Yeah, it's very, very crunchy, very hard, very doughy. Mm. And it's made of what? Um, I think flour, sugar. I think it's the same process um, like baking a mm. cake, but a little different. Mm. It's, it's a little really different. Fun. Then I, I don't know how they make it this hard. I'll again put it on the screen so that you know what the ingredients are. That's nice. And possibly how it's prepared. Mm. So it's, this bis it's biscuitish. This and this goes right away. Well. Wow, I didn't know how many would combine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Polo. What yeah, does it mean? Polo. Polo. I came to meet the name. I don't know what Polo means. You better Google. Yeah, it's just mm. like a, it's like a hard, okay. it's like a hard biscuit donut. Yeah, that's how I put it. So I think the the ingredients would be similar to how you make a donut. Mm. The flour, the mm. nutmeg, you know. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's mm, also a layered taste. Yeah. Like there's different ingredients: and nutty, and then and spices. Mm. And it is on the go. It's also on the go. Most of these things, again, like I said, they are found in the market, mm. in big markets, Makola or Circle or wherever it is. And it's a snack that your, your mother will probably buy home and you will try. My only downside is a bit mm, oily. Okay. How are you? Um, they only need one because it will be full. Okay. You know? I, I mean, people like polo. I don't know how many polo people eat, <laughs> but people do like polo. On average. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. So what's your rating for this one? Eight. Oh, that's pretty high. Sorry, Dapwa. Sorry, it's nothing personal. <laughs> I'm going for this. This is Asana. I'm, I, I doubt this will be my juice, but... Yeah, this is Asana. Oh, it smells like mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I also don't really know... The alcohol what's... in this? Huh? Alcohol. No, 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 no. I also don't it know... It smells a bit fermented, though. I don't know what's, I, I, again, I'll put it on the screen. 
I've had asana my whole life and I don't know what um, the ingredients for making asana. So I'll put it on the screen for you guys to check out what goes into asana. It's better than I expected, but I still don't like it. <laughs> it's what did less you like? punchy. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's comes like it, it's, it's not like bam. Yeah. It's a slow take. It's a bit like the texture should be like cool. Really? Like a little bubbly. Okay. Yes. The color too. Yeah. Yeah. You see the bubbles? Yeah. Bubbly. Good asana should have a lot of bubbles yeah. on it. And you should be careful when you open the bottle. <laughs> because we have a bit of an accident. Yeah. But it's also sour. The sour thing I'm not too fond of. That reminds me of malt. You want to taste? No, I don't want to taste. No, taste. See if it's good. You are an expert. Yeah. Asana, if it's very cold, it's very nice. I've had asana my whole life. Yeah, so maybe if it's really cold, then it's better. It's usually sold with ice, actually. Mm, it's so, like an iced coffee. Oh, maybe then I'll like it more. Yes, so it's sold with ice. So when you're buying asana from like, the woman, they, have a, they usually sell it in huge gourds. Right. So you eat, oh. So the gourd has the asana inside and there's ice oh, in it. I feel the bubbles coming up. Yeah. yeah. And ha it has ice in it. And then they fetch it. It's usually sold in a plastic bag as well with straw on right. the go. Huh? So they put a, a piece of ice in your um, asana and then they put... I feel like... It's, people, it's, people also um, drink it with milk. Oh. Uh, it it's like an ice... It's a mix between ice coffee and garden coke. Yeah. And a bit of a malt. Yeah. So wow. that's Asana. I'm, I'm going to put the... Curious to hear, to hear or to read in the episode what it's uh, made of. Yeah. Let's uh, we'll get there. Okay, last but not So least. drink number two. An eight. An eight. Oh, that's good for us. I said eight, no? Yeah. Oh, no, this was an eight. This was an eight. What are you oh. going to give this? Oh, I thought that was okay. Now then, uh, a seven. You give us a seven to Asana. I feel this seven. one is a bit more accessible, in my honest opinion. Okay. It's more an everyday... Straight up. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go for this booker. <laughs> it's, um, I see some groundnuts. It's definitely fried. Yeah, so there's, yeah, it's fried. There's groundnuts in there. It's made from corn dough, I think, mostly as a base I'm gonna uh, ingredient. Go get in. Yeah. It's hard. We warmed it up a little. Yeah, it's very hard, so. Uh, we'll hold on. And this is, um, I don't know what it's mm. called in Accra, but back in Kumasi, we call this Ariesu. Mm. Ariesu, that's the name we call it back in uh, Kumasi. I don't know if there's a way it's called in Accra, but... Um, it's like a sister of the Bofrots, no? In a way, you know, it's closer also to donuts type... Um, mm. Have it with the groundnuts and see how it's like. Mm. Mm. I like it. You do? Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's chewy. It's nice. Like we have really something to chew on. Yeah. Um, you can definitely taste this fresh. So you want to show it to the camera? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Truly, I'm just going to put the donut. The groundnuts on there. Mm. As well. And this is how the polo looks like. This is how the polo looks like. And this is the aqua. This is the aqua. The sand bowl. <laughs> sand bowl. <laughs> mm, I like it. It's very filling. I don't think I will ever crave it. So I'll give it a six. Okay. It's a bit too fatty for me. Most Ghanaian snacks are um, oily. I like I like the polo well. better because it's more like pastry. Okay. This is really like a bofford, like you want to dip it. I would combine these two. Is that possible? That's entirely up to you. I mean, it's, it's, it's a snack, so. Now we're ending with uh, dessert. Is it dessert? I don't know if you call it dessert, but um, this is yogurt and couscous, I would say. So. It's called Burkina. I actually have to give some credit to my colleagues because they kept talking about Burkina, but they didn't introduce me to it till finally. <laughs> but after so much suspense, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Okay, it smells yogurty. Yeah. 
Mm. This is my jam. <laughs> and it's very filling too. Like it's a meal on its own. Oh, this is very good snack. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm not loving the texture. Because you cannot really drink it fully. Yeah, yeah, you have to chew on the... I, I don't know, yeah, it's couscous or... It's um, um, is it millet? I it think it's millet. It like... Yeah, carrots. I think it's millet in there. It's like um, a bit of a sweet yogurt, like vanilla-like, and then they have like couscous, small or couscous or millet in it. Uh, yeah. Mm. 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 I'm like, how will I rate this? I think I'll give this a 10. A 10 out of 10. Can I bring this to work tomorrow? Yeah, you can. <laughs> but what time of the day do you eat this? Or anything? Oh, it's just a snack. You, you can have your, uh, um, your lunch, mm -hmm. and then maybe between lunch and supper, when you're about to finish work and you feel a little, you know, I need to touch up or I need to eat something, or you have it before and late lunch instead, because it's a meal on its own. It's quite heavy. And what quantity do you eat this? Oh, um, 500 ml, like the small bottle. Lot. Mm. A small bottle, you just shake and just drink from the bottle and finish mm. it up. But you actually finished it. It's nice. Ten, ten out of ten. <laughs> Bring me more Burkina. Burkina. Okay. I really like this. Yeah. I'll... So these are a few Ghanaian snacks that she's never had that she's tried. Um, let us know in the comments which other snacks we may have missed and we should just hunt for and it. I'm also um, curious to hear um, which is people's favorite. Maybe there are, yeah. there's a whole Burkina fan base that I should be aware yeah. of, kind let of us, join. Let us also know which ones that we tried, have you tried, and is your favorite also in the comment section. Yes. And please, if you want some more dark... We, dark. we, we still have more. <laughs> you can come, come for it, munch it. Yo, content. Yeah, I think maybe this afternoon I'll drink this cold with ice blocks and yeah. then with a straw. What you can do is, yeah, with, if you don't have the cubes, we can also put it in the freezer for a little bit and then it's really cold. Ooh, okay. This snack attack is not over, but we'll take it off the screen for now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching. All right, so we'll catch you in the next one from our previous video to this one to me trying Dutch snacks next. Yes. Hopefully. We live up to exploitation. Let's see. Uh, peace. See you next time. <laughs>